I want to um, give my condolences, uh, condolences to the family of Bill Russell. Um, who was born February 12th in Monroe, Louisiana, and he died July 31st. He was 16, and his weight was listed at 215. Um, hmm. I remember Bill Russell, but I don't remember him playing. Uh, I wasn't into basketball as much. He was, I think I, I barely, you know, when he stopped playing, I was like nine years old, somewhere like that. So while I remember his name and my brothers that were older than me, uh, of course, make the fuss over Bill Russell. I personally, you know, just remember it's like a, you know, a clip in my mind. I can't actually see him playing like I can Jerry West and Earl of Pearl Monroe. I can actually remember seeing the Pearl spin, but of course I didn't see him in his heyday. Um, so by the time my knowledge started coming into vision, these guys were on their way out. Okay? But I would like to just acknowledge, um, you know, who he was. Because if you're talking about accolades, God, he had them all. And that's why he's always in the conversation. He was 11-time NBA champion, 57, 59, 66, 68, 69, uh, well, 59 through 66, I should say. Five-time most valuable player, 12-time NBA All-Star. NBA All-Star MVP, uh, three-time All-NBA First Team, eight-time All-NBA Second Team, uh, NBA All-Defensive First Team, four-time NBA Rebounding Champion, NBA Lifetime Achievement Award, NBA Anniversary Team, um, he two-time NCAA champion. He was the NCAA tournament most outstanding player. That was in 1955. Uh, he was the UPI college player of the year. Two times held player, player of the year. See, all this was before I was born, but y'all get the picture. Two-time consensus first team All-American. WCC player of the year. Three-time first team all WCC. Um, now all of this under the scrutiny of racism, Jim Crow. See, when we start talking about these guys that didn't make the salary, that's just only a part of it. Um, the racism back in those days was just real tangible. And um, it wasn't, a, it, it was mentally draining, but it was also physical, way much more physical than it is today. Anyway, um, he's his parents, is Charles and Katie, and he's from West Monroe. Like all Southern towns we see at the time, Monroe was very segregated, and the Russells often struggled with racism in their daily lives. Russell's father once refused service at a gas station until the staff had taken care of all the white customers first. That's how they did it. When he attempted to leave and find a different station, the attendant stuck a shotgun in his face and threatened to kill him if he did not stay and wait his turn. Another incident... Russell's mother was walking outside in a fancy dress store when a white policeman accosted her. He told her to go home and remove the dress, which was described as a uh, white woman's clothing. Now, y'all tell me, what do we have today that, you know, equals that? 
because it's real hard to play under those circumstances. But we learn to get it done. You know, these are some weak people here. They were weak then and they weak now. They had to have a proverbial uh, uh, scapegoat, right? And it seems like we're it. His father was described as a stern, hard man who initially worked at a paper factory as a janitor, which was a typical Negro job, low paid and not intellectually challenged. As sports journalist uh, John Taylor commented, when World War II broke out, the elder Russell became a truck driver. Russell was closer to his mother Katie than to his father, and he received a major emotional blow when she suddenly died when he was 12 years old. His father gave up his trucking job and became a steel worker in order to be closer to his semi-orphan children. Russell stated that his father became his childhood hero. Later, followed up by Minneapolis Lakers superstar George Michael, whom he met when he was still in high school. Russell said of the college player George Michael, let's face it, he was the best player ever. He's so good. He scares me. So, uh, um, you know, it said early in his initial exposure to basketball, he struggled to develop his skills as a basketball player. Although Russell was a good runner and jumper and had large hands, he did not understand uh, the game and was cut off from the team. He was cut from the team at Herbert Hoover Junior High School. Uh, as a freshman at uh, McClemens High School in Oakland, Russell was almost cut again as and but he he wasn't and his he had a coach named Coach Powell who saw his potential encouraged him on work to work on his fundamentals. Since Russell's previous experiences with white authority were always negative, warm words from his coach reassured him. He worked hard and used the benefits of growth spurt to become a decent basketball player. Frank Robinson, a true member of the National, the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum, was one of Bill Russell's high school teammates. Um, he was he, he he became noted for his unusual style of defense. He liked to play good defense. It, it was told back then that if, if you had to stay flat footed at all times to react quickly. When I started to jump to make defensive plays and to block shots, I was initially corrected, but I stuck with it and it paid off. In an autobiography, Russell said that while on a California high school all-star tour, he became obsessed with studying and memorizing other players' moves, footwork, such as which foot, which foot they pivoted first and which one they moved first on a play as preparations for defending against it, which included practicing in front of a mirror at night. He would go through all his defensive moves. He described himself as an avid reader of Dale Magazine's uh, 1950 sports publication, which he used to scout opponents' moves for the purpose of defending them. So he did study his opponents like most great players. They want to know who, what's the player's favorite move, how they can defend that. And a lot of times nowadays they watch hours and hours of film. They didn't have that luxury back then. So I just want to say this man was the icon. And for those of us who loved him and for his love for the game, I remember when he was a coach. I remember that more. But more than anything, I remember his hearty, infectious laugh. That laugh he had was just, it was off the chain. And I think I'm going to miss that most 
for many things. He had been failing in health for the last few years, and you definitely saw it. Um, you know, he wouldn't be out as much. But uh, rest in power, Bill. You, you, you did the damn thing. You did the damn thing. And um, for all the young players that are coming up, watch one of the great ones. And you can't go wrong. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me some of your memories of the great Bill Russell. If you have any, that is. I sure would like to hear them. Leave them below. And I'll see you in the next one.